Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, those um, that are coming back. And if you are new to this channel, I do welcome you. Welcome, welcome. My name is Nandipa. Now, um, if you're a regular, you know that I have not posted a video in like, what, almost two months? If I, it's not been two months, I do apologize for disappearing in on you. There's been a lot happening um, in the personal sphere so um, yes there's been quite a lot and I just could not bring myself to actually filming a video so yeah I am slowly coming back this is me coming back so I'm going to get into the rhythm again of shooting a lot more of videos and a lot more content so yes yeah, so again you know um, a lot has happened but yeah I am back so the first video of coming back I decided that I wanted to shoot a self-care video which is only appropriate I need some self-care yeah that's what I'm going to do I'm going to be doing a deep conditioning treatment for my hair I've been having braids I had braids for it's been quite a little while now so my scalp is quite dry and I'm sure my hair needs some nourishment even though I moisturize my hair a lot and I nourish it a lot while it's on braid because it's on braids because it's very important to do that but it needs some deep conditioning treatment so I do deep conditioning treatment at least once a week to really help my scalp and my hair not to get too dry and then um, yeah I'll also shoot a separate video for my deep conditioning treatment for my braids because it is a DIY treatment I will do that as well I'll shoot a different one so you're either going to see the deep conditioning treatment first or you're going to see the self-care video first I'm not quite sure but anyway I shoot them both on the same day so I just decided to make it one to shoot them on the same day anyway so um yeah thank you so much for joining me now let's get into the video our first ingredient is shea butter i'm going to be using one tablespoon of shea butter shea butter is very moisturizing for the hair and scalp it's an antioxidant it reduces scalp irritation it is an anti-inflammatory it is very good for helping with any to treat any eczema as well as if you've got any acne in your scalp shea butter is the girl it's absolutely amazing shea butter um, is also used in body products because of its amazing benefits for hair and scalp and skin of course next one we're going to be doing is your coconut oil another one tablespoon of that coconut oil encourages hair growth moisturizing it slows down hair loss and it also adds shine and softness to the hair coconut oil also is rich in protein what i'm going to be doing now is i'm going to be melting my two ingredients i'm going to be using the double boil method I take my pot and i put in hot water not necessarily boiling hot is fine they melt very easily and then I'm going to put it, my ingredients into a bowl and inside the pot and then just let them sit and melt. You can also stir them if you like, it's absolutely fine. Okay, I've got the ingredients out, they're nice and melted. So now I'm going to be adding my oils into the mixture. First oil I'm going to be using is our olive oil. Olive oil helps to improve blood flow to the hair follicles, therefore it increases hair growth. It also prevents dandruff and strengthens the hair from the roots to the tip. Next is going to be my castor oil. Now I am using a Jamaican castor oil for this. Jamaican castor oil is an anti-inflammatory, it's antimicrobial properties, it promotes hair growth and it also strengthens the hair strength. We all know how fantastic um, castor oil is for hair growth, especially if you have no edges, it is absolutely amazing to grow those edges. Next up I'm going to be using is one of my absolute favorite oils. It is going to be argan oil. Argan oil helps to moisturize the hair and scalp. It reduces breakage as well as split ends. It adds shine. It helps to fight a dandruff. As you can notice, I am not using too much of the argan oil. 
because I tend to um, use algan oil in my mixture of oils in my hair growth oil mixture so I use argan oil quite frequently and um, yeah and plus it is ex expensive so I try to use it sparingly when I use a conditioning treatment. So now I'm going to be whisking the ingredients together. I have changed the bowl because um, the other bowl is obviously a glass bowl and my whisk tends to be very strong so I do not want to break my bowl. So I'm going to be whisking these ingredients to a more of a creamy consistency so I'm not looking for that whipped cream a buttery consistency this is more of a creamy consistency now this treatment is actually a protein treatment for my hair because it has um, coconut oil now i'm using a protein treatment i use it once a month i try not to use it often because i do have low porosity hair when you have low porosity hair your hair already has a lot of protein in it so when you tend to do too much of protein treatment an overload to protein does tend to break your hair so i only do protein treatments about once a month and I need a protein treatment because my hair is in a protective style, braids in particular, and they do tend to break the hair. So I do need my hair strands to be a little bit stronger. So this is why I'm doing this protein treatment. Now I'm going to be adding hair conditioner to this treatment. You can use any hair conditioner that you like. That is absolutely fine. I don't measure how much I use. I'm just using a general amount. Now what you don't see me adding also into this video, I lost that footage, I'm also adding honey into this mixture. Honey is a humectant and an emollient, I absolutely love honey. So it helps to seal any moisture into the hair. It's also an antibacterial as well as antiseptic. It helps to strengthen your hair follicle. It's fantastic, absolutely amazing if you have dry hair as well as low porosity hair. I have also added about two drops of vitamin E, which is an antioxidant, improves hair growth and it also promotes a healthy scalp and prevents hair loss. And I think, um, yes, yeah, so I've mixed that all together, whisk again. And now I've got the preferred consistency. As you can see, it is more of a creamy consistency and I'm absolutely happy with this consistency. It's going to be a lot easier to apply to my hair. Now let's get into the application stage. So the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my deep conditioning treatment. Now it is a DIY conditioning treatment as you have seen. So anyway, anywho. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply that on and then I'm going to leave it on in a heat cap for about 40 minutes. I like to leave it on there for as long as possible. You know, just me being extra, but that's okay. Now. I did wash my hair first, okay, so I washed my hair first with a detoxifying shampoo as well as I rinsed it with apple cider vinegar and the reason being why I use deep cleansing and detoxifying treatment is because I really want to cleanse up my scalp, like I said, I um, when I have braids on I tend to pile up a lot of products, not too much, well, not excessively, but I always make sure that I hydrate my scalp on a daily basis because it does tend to be extra dry when it's in braids. Whereas if I was not wearing braids, I'll do it like two or three every two or three days. So now it's got kind of like a build up in my scalp. And so I really wanted to deep cleanse and detoxify my scalp before applying a, a deep conditioning treatment so it's able to penetrate and work a lot better, which also is going to help to aid in strengthening my hair follicles, but also helping my hair to grow as it is in a protective style. Okay, so let's get into the video. So it is wet. Um, I just towel dried it. It is semi-wet, but yeah, I'm going to... Oh, my scalp is dry as you can see my scalp does to, to tend to get a lot drier when my hair is in braids um, but I washed it I don't know if you can see it yeah I hope you can see it um, yeah so it does tend to get a bit drier what is this here I see something and there is no specific way yeah, so it tends to be a bit dry when just it's in go braids. at it like really I'm gonna start at the back 
I'm just using my hands. If you have a brush, good for you. Um, look, those salon brushes. I like it because um, I love my hair that is in braids because now I don't have to section my hair and try to open up um, some sections so it can get into my scalp. This way it's just easier because oh, maybe we should just take off the glasses. Good idea. So this way is easier because my scalp is already exposed so I don't have to worry about sectioning my hair into um, small sections so I can get into my scalp this way. My scalp is already exposed because it's already on braids which is fantabulous. And right opposite me by the way is my daughter. She's sitting there and just staring at me and kind of like laughing at me but that's okay. And she's in her own little world as well at the same time. She did, my, she did my hair, by the way. She braided my hair, so. once I'm under the steam cap it's just gonna help to stimulate my scalp and just keep it nice and tingly I love that feeling okay so I've got everything covered just to make sure the scalp is covered and mix it a little bit in the hair yeah. oh my braids are still wet going down my back the water is dripping down my and now oh, I'm going to put this on as my shower cap I can't find my shower cap because I bought a shower cap and then I'm going to use my heat cap this is going to help to generate the steam and I'm going to be under here um, you, I mean you can leave it for like a minimum can be 20 minutes but I'm going like I said I'm going to leave it longer than that so do, 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 do. let's put this at the back end. Um, so everything is absorbed literally sorry for the lighting it's gone really dark now so um, everything is absorbed my hair feels great don't know if you can see properly can't really see properly um, but yeah so everything is good and looking for my ring light to see if I can show you properly okay so I just fetched my portable ring light I didn't put, this is what it looks like, I just didn't put it in its stand, but okay, so this is basically what um, 
my hair looks like after the treatment so everything is absorbed as you can see it just looks so much healthier and um, the elasticity is improved it just feels absolutely amazing it just feels a lot more nourished and a lot more hydrated but yeah so this is the situation so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go and wash my hair like I normally do just wash it off and then I'm going to continue with my normal um, moisturizing routine or nourishing routine so that's it guys that is how i keep my hair nourished hydrated um, when my hair cotton that i do so can you see i love this oh my god i love i love the lighting i just love this ring light and like i said it has a stand that you just um, yeah you just put it over there but i didn't um, bring the stand it just makes such a difference look at that look look mm. Oh, sorry, that's not where I was. Anyway, thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. If you have not already done so, please make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. I do promise I will be uploading um, as often as I can. Okay, so I'm going to start um, being regular, getting up into the regular sphere because everything is sort of like, um, yeah, it's coming into place now. You know, things are coming together so I'll be able to upload a whole lot more thank you so much again for uh, being patient with me and then it's handed on